Hi and welcome to Straight Up Tech, a new channel dedicated to game, app development and reviews. In this first video of my channel and the series, I am going to teach you some basics of Unity. We will develop this maze game step by step so you can get a hang of how the Unity engine works. So before diving in, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you never miss a video again. In this first episode, we will deal with basic setup for Unity. You can open your browser, go to Unity website. You can look around if you want. Click on get started. Choose the plan according to your needs. If you are a beginner and I guess you are as you are watching this video, the best plan will be personal through which you can also make commercial games and apps. Click on try personal accept terms and download and save the installer according to your OS choice. Run the installer. You can choose the Unity editor according to the platform for which you will be developing games for. Install it according to your preference. I already have Unity installed so I will just open the program. From the projects page we will choose new. We will name our project maze underscore ball. You can choose where you want to save your project on a hard drive. Here you can choose templates for environment like 2D or 3D. We will choose 3D and then create project. This is the basic unit environment. You have your scene view and the game view. These are the different axes you can choose to view your project from different angles. The skybox is by default added which will imitate the sky in the game. Then you have the main camera, the direction light which lights up the environment and your project panel containing all the folders. We will select scene and rename it to maze ball level 1. This will house the complete level 1 of your game. Then we will create our first game object from here. Select game object, then 3D object and plane for our player to move on. Every time you create a game object, do go to transform and reset so you are at the center of your game environment because everything is calculated from this point. I will double the scale of my plane so we have a larger room to work on. To view your plane from the top, choose the Y axis, go back to X axis, choose move tool. You can press Alt on Windows and Command on Mac to bring the eye tool and move the plane accordingly. Now we have our background, but we need our player. In this case, we will choose game object, then 3D object, then sphere. You see the sphere is suspended in the air. We will reset its position from transform, then reset. Now you will see it is kind of inside the plane because all the objects in unity are by 1 is to 1 is to 1 by default. So we just have to change the Y position of the player by 0.5. So we are sure it is just touching the background or the plane. Now we have a player and background but being of the same color we cannot distinguish between the two. For that we have to create a material in unity. First we will go to our project panel, create a new folder, name it material for the sake of keeping everything organized. Then we will create new material and name it background. Then we will change the albedo to a nice blue color. To change the background color, just drag and drop the material on the plane and it will change its color. Now you can easily distinguish between your background and your player. We will change the name of our plane to background and our sphere to player. Now that's all for the first episode. Play around with different shapes in Unity and we will discuss about player movement in our next episode in Unity. Till then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can never miss a video again. Thank you and have a great day.